Week number two, hello everybody, I'm John Lastinger along with the head coach of the Blazers, Mike Kelly. It was a rematch of a NCAA Division II quarterfinal game from 1996, the Blazers taking on Carson Newman. Uh, this time they meet in Rome at Bowman Stadium in a game billed as the Nick Heider Classic. We'll tell you a little bit more about that uh, later. Carson Newman jumps to 15 points in, in the first quarter. They don't look back. They win it by a final 28-7. to Blazers now 0-2 uh, on the young season. Coach, uh, once again, very similar to uh, the opening ball game. You just kind of fall behind early and have to play catch up. We, uh, we just have not been able to sustain anything offensively early in the game. And our defense, I think, has played very well. Uh, it's given up a few big plays. But uh, uh, offensively, if we don't get something going, we're leaving uh, our defense on the field much too long. Carson Newman is a talented football team. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't realize that. A team that made it to the NCAA uh, title game last year. Yeah, they have, uh, they have 14 starters returning from last year's club. We're in, uh, we have six, and there's a big difference there. And, uh, and the guys that they do have that are replacement players now still got a lot of playing time last year. And they were a big physical football team. And uh, one of the things that surprised me was that uh, their front four was actually more physical than what Georgia Southern's was, and I didn't anticipate that. It was a good football game for, for opening game for them, but the Blazers do make some progress. We will look at the first half highlights when we come back. And welcome back to the show. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, the game was known as the Nick Heider Classic. We might want to kind of kind of tie all this in. Of course, everybody remembers Nick Heider for what he did here at Valdosta High School, but uh, Coach Heider attended Carson Newman, played football there, and of course, had a very successful uh, coaching career at West Rome High School uh, before coming to Valdosta. So he had connections to all three cities and hence the Nick Heider Classic. And uh, Coach, I mean, I know you never met Coach Heider. I'm sure you've no. heard a lot of good things about him. When, when I was a high school coach in Ohio, I knew about Nick Heider. I knew about Valdosta High. And, um, you know, certainly a man that that carried tremendous respect and the community was weakened by his passing. But uh, uh, it was kind of neat to go up and play a game on a field that he has coached on because I haven't had that opportunity here yet. Let's go to the first half highlights. We've got a lot to show you uh, uh, just to, to follow up that. They did give, uh, I think, June Heider a, a commemorative uh, plaque at halftime. But uh, you right. open the ball game. Yeah. Carson Newman will receive the opening kickoff. Yeah, well, here we, we worked uh, all week on our uh, kickoff uh, coverage team. And, um, but we didn't have anybody like number seven simulating that. And uh, he was just a better athlete than, than what we had running down there at that point. Um, they really pounded it in there pretty good. Both of these running backs that they have are big, strong kids with a low center of gravity. And uh, we did not do a good job of wrapping up and tackling. And, you know, uh, like so many option teams, they pound it inside, pound it inside, and then they stand up and throw that thing down the seam. And that's exactly what they did to us. And, and this young man playing quarterback for them is extremely accurate and uh, puts the ball the only place it could have been there with pretty good coverage by Brad Trout. Carson Newman threw it for uh, uh, you know, 264 yards, very un uncharacteristic for them. Uh, but although, uh, you know, with this quarterback, I think they've got the ability to do that. Well, they're, they're a good football team. They're preseason ranked number two. Austin Harmon makes a good play right there, and then they, they miss a, a field goal attempt here. But, um, oh, no, that's the one they made. Actually, they'll that, make that it. Tyson Maples, 42 yards. Uh, Carson Newman leads it 3 nothing, and you come right back on offense here. Come back on offense, uh, throw a little hitch, but you know, our receiver puts his knee down. And you know, here's something about a young quarterback right here. Uh, you know, he goes into his drop, and his eyes aren't really downfield. They're more on, on the pressure that we're getting up front. And as you can see, their front is just dominating our front at this point, and that usually isn't a very good sign for your football team at this stage in the game. Uh, Wayne Devane, again, does a nice job of of punting the football, uh, put it sit down there. They mishandle it, and they're back inside the 20. Um, but you know, look at the burst that this young man has, and, and the strength that he, he shows. Uh, they were just a very big, physical, strong football team. And here you can see the strength. You know, there's our you know, Jesse Sutton and, and Tremaine Neal, who are really two of our better players, and, and they're just bulldogging them. Sutton with 12 tackles, and Tremaine Neal had 10 on the night, so both played well for your defense. You know, here's another throw. Where you know Vaughn Clark is right there and uh, just you know loses sight of the receiver and, and it ends up a uh, you know big play against us. Zach Allen to Jock's rump, 44-yard touchdown pass, uh, nine nothing. Uh, Carson Newman. You know and, and here our, our inexperience is showing again. You know freshman throwing to freshman. 
Um, we're not physically able to handle the outside backer here with our full back, and uh, we're just having a tough time one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you know, we, they're breaking on the ball better than what our receivers are, and here they come with the option again, and you know, they're, again, another example of we just weren't strong enough to bring them down. You know, an arm tackle like that isn't going to get it done against these type of backs, and here they fumble the ball, and, and we can't, you know, grab a hold of it. It must look like it was greased at this point. And now here we go. We put a big hit on him, but that kid right there was a third-team All-American last year, and he, this year I'll bet you he's higher than a third-team All-American. <laughs> Rump, a 33-yard touchdown pass from Allen again. Uh, kick was wide left, uh, Carson Newman. Eagles lead at 15-0. Now, you get a little something going offensively here. Yeah, here we get a, another little hitch out to Winston Williams, another freshman, freshman to freshman, throwing there and, and uh, get a little something going. And then we come back and try to put it down the seam. And another freshman, Dennis Frizzell, makes a, an outstanding play. He's, he's really turning into a playmaker for us. He's a tough kid that's doing a good job. Uh, throw another ball, good strike right there to Dennis again. He, I think he had seven catches on the evening. Come back with the draw and Vontrell Mitchell makes something happen there and pushes it upfield. Here we are inside the 30. And remember, you know, right now, you know, we still got a, somewhat of a chance here in this football game. And, um, you know, they apply good pressure there. And uh, hand off to Vontrell and, and our guard and center both get squeezed and the ball comes out and they pick it up. and. Uh, Jason Vaughn does a nice job of saving a touchdown there. Blazers had three fumbles. Uh, Carson Newman has five fumbles and, and recovers all but one of them. So you know, uh, the real, ball really began to bounce their way. Yeah, real good swarm tackling there. And you know, here's an opportunity where we have uh, you know for an interception and just don't react quite quickly enough. And a lot, of, a lot of a lot of real estate if Jamal and Stevens oh, can make yeah. the interception there. Right. Uh, they missed the extra point. Uh, excuse me, missed the field, field goal. goal yeah. So. Uh, Blazers back on offense. You know, here, uh, again, young quarterback uh, looking at, at what's happening in front of him rather than keeping his vision downfield. And then just a, uh, just a poor throw there. I mean, that's the only way really to explain it. The ball floated on him. He put his thumb through the ball, as we say. As an old quarterback, you've probably heard that uh, before. That's, that's the way I always threw it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't hardly believe that. You know, here uh, Antonio Speed really times his dog nicely there and splits the gap and makes the play. And, uh, you know, here's uh, uh, Terry Turner putting pressure on Brad Trout, you know, in good coverage. We're, we're doing some good things defensively. Yeah, I think you'll see your defense really play well from this point on. You know, here's, uh, you know, here's that All-American receiver again. And, uh, and he's just got good speed and, and some evasiveness. Here we are again, you know. We, go, we went into the last two games saying, if we can stop their run, because that's what both Georgia Southern and Carson Newman want to do is, is establish the run game, then they have to beat us with the pass. And, and that's what both of these teams were able to do because we did a pretty good job of, of stopping what they think is their base offense. Now, here we get a big lick on them, and they call that an incomplete pass. I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, come back and, and just throw a, a misfire there. Hand off to Vontrell, not much room for him. You know, they're, they're swarming and you know, they're a good football team running to the, running to the ball. Uh, we get Eric Doggett on a little slant pattern here and, uh, and, and push it out of the hole a little bit. And now we come back, sprint the corner. Uh, I think Jason Vaughn is really throwing the ball well on the yeah, run. Certainly, and a great throw there. At, uh, Mike Bowman cannot hang on to it, and a good strike here. A good strike here Frizzell. again to Dennis Frizzell. I mean, you can see us growing a little bit here now. You know, uh, Jason, I think, is throwing the ball well. He's got an efficiency rating now of, of almost 105, which isn't too bad. And uh, uh, it's just a matter of him, you know, playing and, and getting into the decision-making process more often. Here we run another dog, and Tremaine Neal times it nicely and gets through for a sack. Tremaine uh, Neal, five tackles uh, for losses. You know, and not, you know when we don't get pressure on him, the, the young man was extremely accurate. And here we have another field goal attempt, and uh, this one they put through, and that made it 18 nothing at this point. As we see, Blazers not on the board. Carson Newman uh, leads it. Uh, defense playing a little better. When we come back, we'll uh, look at the second half highlights. Coach, uh, I, I know that you uh, uh, you involved uh, not just 
things going on the football field. You like to, to pride yourself in being involved in some other things. You were in Canada, and you've got a special yeah. event coming up here uh, sure in a do. couple of weeks. Yeah, we got uh, the Mike Kelly Fight Against Diabetes Golf Tournament down at Francis Lake on uh, September 22nd. We play our first home game September 20th. And then we have an off week the next week, so this worked out very well for us. And uh, uh, we're trying to raise money for the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation, and uh, and certainly we'd like to get as many people in the community involved as we can. Uh, they don't have anything uh, for diabetes in this area here, and I thought it was our way to uh, um, help out and, and support uh, the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. Well, we certainly appreciate it. If you've got information. Uh uh, and want to and want to play in the thing uh, need some information rather call the VSU athletic department 333-5890 Let's go to the second half highlights uh, as we mentioned Carson Newman leads it uh, the score by score of 18 nothing and uh, again uh, Coach second quarter your defense playing a little better. Uh, you're still yeah. struggling offensively, but you, you will see some good things you know, This right now the season is playing out the way I really thought it would is that our offense would struggle early and that our defense would be able to hang in there. And, um, and the thing that I like is that, you know, again, we didn't quit. You know, we kept playing the game. And, and that was what Ken Sparks, their uh, head coach, said to me afterwards. He said, boy, your kids played hard. And, um, you know, that, that, that's a compliment. Uh, you know, here we have a third and one situation. Just try to, you know, stick it in there to the fullback. And their front was just physically too strong for our offensive line. And, and, you know, that's a reality of life. It's not, uh, uh, you know, I'm not trying to pick on any kids or anything. They just were stronger than we were. And, uh, you know, here our defensive line does a good job. And we come back with the, the sweep here, and, and our freshman tackle just can't get their defensive end hooked. And, uh, you know, here we come with a little screen pass, and, and Bontrell gets, uh, uh, gets face mask there, so we get another 15 tacked on top of it. And then, we try to run another little screen to the fullback, and he trips over our own guard. Uh, then we come with uh, what we uh, what we call lightning. There is uh, they didn't cover our slot, so we just stand up and throw him the ball. And uh, good pass to Eric Doggett, and then you, it gets it down first and goal. But uh, once again, you'll have a tough time getting it in. Yeah. Trail Mitchell just had a, an uncharacteristically bad night. Uh, Ten carries. 15 yards, and unfortunately, you will lose him a little later in the ball game. Yeah, um, you know, on that particular play right there, uh, we made a check at the line of scrimmage that was actually um, not a good check for us. We, we pitched away from the formation. We were just trying to make something happen here, and, and so we went with a fake field goal, and, and again, too much penetration on our line, and, and uh, had we been able to get around the corner, there was no one there. Terry Turner uh, from Cockwood County makes a good play, the, the previous play there, and again, good pressure from your defense. Yeah, here we're, we're putting good pressure on with uh, uh, Alberto Nurse, and, and the guy just, you know, he's a playmaker. He made a play there. Uh, Donnie Johnson's in the game now, and, uh, you know, throws a strike there to Dennis Frizzell, and, and early in Dennis Frizzell's young career, uh, you know, he has a, an uncharacteristic drop. We have some miscommunication there. Uh, on, a, on a fade pattern and reading coverage, and then we just miss throw a little screen pass. So, you know, we're, we're shooting ourselves in the foot, and they, they try to come back with a reverse, but again, our defense is, is, is staying home and doing the things that they need to do. And, good, you know, good play, Richard Freeman. Yeah, twice uh, makes the, the initial, turns him in, and then comes out and helps on the tackle there. So, well, you know, good that, hustle. that guy's motor runs. And, you know, now look at this. Austin Harmon has terrific coverage on the guy, and it's just a good throw and a good catch. And, and, uh, you can't ask any more out of the kid than what we're getting there. And here we are again with Chad Freeman and Tremaine Neal putting pressure on and, and uh, you know, causing something to happen. And, um, you know, that's actually a, uh, a quarterback draw right there uh, with Donnie. And we come back and, and throw a little strike to uh, uh, Eric Doggett in the slot and hand off to Bontrell. And, you know, he does a nice job of slashing uh, backside on the, on the cut. And, and here we go with Toss again. And, you know, I guess that potato was just too hot for this game. Uh, we just could not hang on to our toss. Uh, come back and, and uh, you know, ball gets out there a little bit late on a hitch. And Mike now, Bowman with the reception. And now we got to rely on, on Wayne Devane again to try to help us out with some field position. And, um, you know, we don't, here again, you know, this is a very talented young man, number seven, and uh, brings the ball up the field, but we're able to strip him. Tremaine Neal strips him, and we get the ball right back. Now we come back and Donnie throws a nice strike to off another freshman, Wendell Oldham. 
taking it up the seam. We, we had a little package put together where we, we called it Little Twins with uh, Eric Doggett and Wendell <laughs> in there. The, you know, the two, of them, name there. The, the two of them together with a loaded diaper is about 130 pounds. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they, uh, they're little scat backs. And then Donnie does a nice job with his cadence right there and, and uh, gets him to jump off sides. If we get an automatic first down, we come back with a little little hot read right there and dump it off to uh, Vontrell. And, um, you know, now we're starting to push the ball down inside the 15. And again, you know, we they, they physically just manhandle us and push us out of bounds. We have a shot there where, you know, that, that's a touchdown, but we just, you know, another freshman just doesn't hang on to it. And, and here's where Vontrell gets hurt. Right there when he put his hand down, he dislocated his elbow, and we've lost him for four weeks now. Mm, it'll be a tough loss. Uh, uh, Blazers cannot score. You're back on defense, and again, uh, defense really playing aggressive. You know, we went for it on fourth down. Uh, nothing to lose at this point, and we want to get them pinned in. And, and you know, here they just they squeeze through on us. And they, after doing a, you know such a great job all night long, those things are going to happen eventually. Right. Uh, that veer, it's, it's you know it's assignment football, and uh, uh, you know you can only hold them for so long. You know, They're going to break one, but then again, good, know, good defense. We just there. keep coming after them, and uh, you know that our front four and our linebackers are a good group. And uh, here they try a little little screen pass because we we're pushing, putting so much pressure on, and Jesse Sutton really sniffs it out and does a nice job. You know, here comes here comes Shad Freeman again. Uh, you know, applying pressure along with David Fox, and and here they hit a 52 or 51 yard field goal. And, uh, Tyson Maples from 51 yards, uh, the low line driver. I guess that's what it had to be. Carson Newman up 21 nothing. Now here Donnie goes out on a, a run pass option and elects to keep it and. Uh, uh, gets his skull cracked a little bit because uh, this isn't a real good decision that he makes here on the next play, and, and uh, they get an interception, and, and you know we're we're fighting our way back again with the <laughs> defense back out there. Uh, the, these guys are all gladiators at this point. Um, you know here, uh, you know I think we're just getting a little tired at this point. The linebacker has. Uh, as pitch responsibility, and we just don't get there. All right, time of possession might uh, probably something we ought to miss. Uh, mentioned 36-49 uh, for Carson Newman and 23-11. Uh, but I think you know the second half you played a little better offensively. Yeah, well, we we can't keep waiting until keep second the second half. Right. Yeah, that's you know? right. And uh, um, you know we're doing some things now, moving it a little bit. But uh, you know this is just way too little, way too late. Um, you know, Donnie's you know throwing a couple of good balls here now and Dennis Frizzell again making another catch and swinging out here to Wendell Olden and you know he splits two defenders right there and keeps going north and south and that's what I like to see out of Wendell. Um, sprint the corner with Donnie again Dennis Frizzell. One of seven you know. catches for 85 yards on the night. And uh, you know here goes Donnie again a little fade pattern to uh, Eric Doggett and uh, at least we get some some numbers on the board uh, to end the game. There's your final, uh, Carson Newman, 28, uh, BSU 7 uh, players on the field with uh, uh, congratulations there. There were some other scores from the Gulf South Conference. Let's take a look at them. Uh, Arkansas Tech uh, is a winner over West Alabama, 41 to 17. Uh, North Alabama, uh, they always play Alabama A&M every, every year, and they win it big, 49 to 20. Southern Arkansas over East Central Oklahoma, 37 to 9. Uh, Delta State goes up, plays one double-A power, Stephen F. Austin, and uh, uh, Austin wins it 38-3. West Georgia gets back on the winning track. They knock off Mars Hill 37-12. It is Harding 48, Arkansas Monticello 14, and uh, Henderson State 37, Washita Baptist uh, 23. I always like to say Washita Baptist. <laughs> the Inside Blazer football segment features offensive coordinator Matt Dunnigan after this break. Coach, the road show continues uh, as we travel to Fort Valley next week uh, to face the Wildcats. Right. Uh, we're looking for a big challenge out of them. That we, we're we 0-2 going in. they got to feel pretty good about that, and I know they'll get after us. Uh, Fort Valley loses to Morehouse 27-16. Uh, I know you, you scouted the game, so it should be an exciting one. That will wrap up this week's edition of the Mike Kelly Show. Join us next week for highlights of the Blazers against Fort Valley. We'll see you then.